been a long time since I did this kind of video. My face in it. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey, how you doing? I was thinking about responsibility. Because I noticed some things I was doing when it came down to responsibility. And I noticed some things that people do to me that I don't like. And that kind of leads me to doing the same things. Um, all because of responsibility, right? I think a lot of us have this real uncomfortable energy with when it comes to responsibility. And I think even when we think we're comfortable with it, we may not be entirely as comfortable with it as we have convinced ourselves we are. And I say this purely like with reflection upon myself, like no shame, no judgment here. I'm just kidding. I don't actually drink like that. Why am I? Okay. I have this tendency to get really aggressive when I'm trying to tell somebody to take responsibility for something. In one of my past relationships, I had a partner who, when I did things, you know, in a way that she didn't like, which was not intended on my part, but, you know, it was things I didn't notice or things I didn't feel the same way about. And she would aggressively tell me what I needed to do and what shouldn't be happening, what was my, she, you know, she uh, could accuse me of things. Um, in this really aggressive way and I took it very personally because I just felt like an awful person all the time and it got to a point where I couldn't even defend myself I couldn't even remember if I had done the things or not Um, from my own perspective I would take what she said and be like dang I must have done that I'm so sorry and I just constantly feel bad about myself when in reality some of these things were just things she that were making her feel these ways but they weren't things I was actually doing. And it led to me in my next relationship constantly, whenever my partner got something wrong, just being like, what's wrong with you? Like, no, okay, I wasn't that aggressive. <laughs> I wasn't aggressive in that way, but I would be like, like, you're wrong and you're hurting me and you're doing these things. And it's always just this, you like aggressiveness towards you need to take responsibility for what you've done to me why don't you like take why don't you just take the blame for what you've done to me and I realized I was pushing him away and and it took a very long time for me to realize you don't have to communicate responsibility that hard to anyone um in fact it's not really okay to quite frankly if somebody's not going to take responsibility the people you think you need to get that aggressive for when it comes to responsibility and you need to tell them the responsibility they're not trying to take responsibility regardless they're not really they might even say they will but they they have they don't take responsibility they just don't so no matter what you say nothing's going to change no matter how you if you say it nicely no matter if you say it mean you know but for most people and most people who are worthy of your time they're going to want to take the responsibility so when you come to them aggressively and with all this judgment and this meanness and this isn't necessarily saying that you have to change because you know people love who people are regardless if you're mean if you're not like the people who love you are going to love you um some people can tolerate certain things or some people are okay with certain things that other people are not so that's that's just on the table regardless but the people who want to take responsibility don't always want to be talked down to about that responsibility. It, if they want to take responsibility, all you have to do is ask them to. All you have to do is let them know what the issue is. Most people don't need you to yell it at them and treat them differently because of it. It makes people feel really bad and it pushes them away. Now it's conditioned them to not want to take responsibility for anything having to do with you. And they don't, and that's not saying like, you know, like it's their responsibility to still learn how to self-reflect or whatever and still know when they need to be taking responsibility and when they don't, but it's still also hard when they're being constantly berated 
about things they need to take responsibility for. You can't decide who needs to take responsibility. And I used to think for a long time, like, you know, myself, like, but you need, like, if you need to take responsibility, you need to take responsibility. I don't need to be softer or anything about it. And it's not about being softer. It's about communicating with love, right? I used to think that I should be able to communicate how I wanted because it's all out of love and it's me. You should love me for who I am. But that doesn't really, it's not fair to treat someone any kind of way just because of who you are. Um, we're all emotional beings, most, I guess most of us, <laughs> and it doesn't matter how many emotions you think you have or think you don't have. It takes, like, it takes a lot to communicate with love because of the situations that a lot of us grew up in, but it's just a better thing to do to learn how to communicate to someone with love without all the aggression, without telling, like, without the control without berating them because most people are going to feel bad for hurting you if they care about you you don't need to yell at them if there's someone you need to yell at then you it seems like they don't need to be in your life um and it's a hard thing to learn especially like because this comes from a lot of i've seen it in a lot of black women right and it's not about being the angry black woman it's about you know being in situations where you felt like either you didn't get it through your head until somebody yelled it at you or, or said something to you in a not nice way. Or dealing with people in the past who just refused to listen to you or refused to take responsibility for things. Refused to even admit their part of things, even though pretty much everything is 50-50. Like, everyone involved is to blame. Like, it's just what happened, everyone's involved, we... Everything involves everyone Everyone involved, right? So to me, the blame is on everyone and the blame is on no one. It just is what happened. Let's figure out how to work together. Let's figure out how we can both contribute. Let's figure out how we can all contribute pieces to avoid this happening again instead of just letting one person take the blame all the time. And like I said, I've struggled with this myself. And I see it in a lot of Black women who have dealt with the same thing, who have dealt with this from a lot of people who didn't want to take responsibility. And it's because we all have this fear of responsibility. A lot of us never got comfortable with the concept of responsibility. It was always yelled at us. It was always thrown at us. It was always forced upon us. And I think that's something we can genuinely change. And it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of work because... Not even because. I just... The number of times <laughs> I have sat and cried because I can't stop. And then having to give myself grace and be like, you are still loved. And you know your intentions to not do this. It's tough. But it's important. And it's meaningful. It makes people feel safe. It makes you feel safe. You feel more comfortable taking responsibility. A lot of times, the same ones doing the yelling about the responsibility they feel like dying over taking responsibility themselves. Like when they take responsibility, they feel like garbage. They hate themselves. And it's like, it's not, it doesn't have to be that. We, like a lot of us don't know how to come to terms with the bad things that we've done for that same reason. So I think we can unpack and like kind of change the narrative of the negative concept of just responsibility because it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be something that's yelled at or forced upon you. It can be gentle. Sure, people, you know, it may involve someone getting hurt. It can still be gentle towards you and it can still give you grace. Whoever got hurt can still give you grace. You just have to be willing to do these, to try and learn. Not to get it right immediately, not to get it right even after a month. It can take a long time, actually. <laughs> To just learn how to embody love in your communication so that you embody love for yourself internally. A lot of us don't realize how much these things impact us day to day. I have people in my life who think emotions are not even necessary. None of this is necessary because they're doing fine with how they're, how they're, how they're living and they're getting stuff done. And that's perfectly okay. I don't intend to change those people. But these things do impact us on a 
deep level. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to change everything you do. It's just something to keep in mind about how you want to connect with yourself and how you want to connect with others. So yeah, that's my talk for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, super greens in the Sailor Moon Cup. Isn't it so pretty? It was a gift. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. And I'll talk to you later.